Welcome to Quick No Facts. In today's video, I will talk about the nine flopped cars from 1900s to 1950s. Number 1. 1911 Overland Octo Auto The 1911 Overland Octo Auto was a pioneering experiment in automotive design with its unique configuration of eight wheels. Unlike traditional cars of its time, which typically had four wheels, the Octo Auto aimed to improve stability and handling through additional wheel support. However, its complex design proved to be impractical for mass production and everyday use. The intricate wheel arrangement also added to manufacturing costs, making it less attractive to consumers who were looking for simpler and more affordable automobiles. These factors contributed to the Octo Auto's failure in the market despite its innovative approach to vehicle design. Number 2. 1913. Scripps Booth by Auto Go. The 1913 Scripps Booth by Auto Go stands out as a peculiar and unconventional vehicle from the early 20th century. Featuring two front ends and a motorcycle-like rear, it challenged traditional automotive design norms. The by Auto Go's distinctive appearance may have captured attention, but it failed to resonate with most consumers due to its impracticality and unusual handling characteristics. The complex steering mechanism required skillful maneuvering, making it less user-friendly compared to standard automobiles of the era. Ultimately, limited consumer interest and practical challenges led to the by Auto Go's lack of success in the automotive market. Number 3. 1917 Briggs & Stratton Flyer The 1917 Briggs & Stratton Flyer was a compact and unconventional car that featured a three-wheeled design. While its small size made it suitable for navigating tight spaces, the Flyer struggled with underpowered performance and an awkward overall design. The limited engine capacity hindered its speed and capabilities, impacting its appeal to potential buyers who sought more powerful and versatile vehicles. Additionally, the Flyer's unconventional appearance may have deterred some consumers looking for traditional four-wheeled cars, further contributing to its poor sales and limited production. Number 4. 1933 Fuller Dimaxion Car The 1933 Fuller Dimaxion Car was a revolutionary concept in automotive design, featuring a streamlined shape and a three-wheel configuration. Designed by Buckminster Fuller, the Dimaxion Car aimed to optimize fuel efficiency and maneuverability through its innovative aerodynamic design. However, a tragic accident during a demonstration highlighted the car's instability, leading to safety concerns among potential buyers. The combination of technical challenges, public perception issues, and limited production capabilities contributed to the Demaxion car's failure in the automotive market. Number 5. 1936 Stout Scarab the 1936 Stout Scarab is a remarkable example of early automotive innovation, often credited as one of the first minivans in history. Designed under the guidance of aviation engineer William B. Stout, this vehicle boasted a futuristic and aerodynamic design that was well ahead of its time. Its distinctive egg-shaped body and integrated monocoque construction, where the body and frame formed a single unit, showcased cutting-edge engineering principles. Despite these advancements, the Scarab faced challenges due to its high price, positioning it as a luxury vehicle that was out of reach for many consumers. This limited market appeal led to a relatively short production run and the eventual discontinuation of the Scarab model. Number 6. 1939 Crossley Crossley represented a bold step towards compactness and fuel efficiency in the automotive industry. Conceived by entrepreneur Powell Crossley Jr., these cars featured small yet efficient engines that delivered impressive fuel economy especially during times of fuel scarcity, such as World War II. While the Crossley cars were innovative in their design and economic benefits, they encountered challenges in terms of performance and reliability. The small engines struggled to provide adequate power and acceleration, impacting the overall driving experience. Persistent reliability issues further marred the brand's reputation over time, limiting its widespread success despite initial popularity among certain consumer segments. Number 7. 1940 Nash Ambassador The 1940 Nash Ambassador exemplified Nash's commitment to quality and craftsmanship, earning a positive reputation in the automotive market. However, despite its solid build and engineering excellence, the Ambassador faced hurdles due to its conservative styling and lack of significant updates compared to competitors. As rival automakers introduced more modern designs and innovative features, the Ambassador's traditional appearance appealed primarily to a specific demographic. This limited its broader market appeal and made it challenging for Nash to compete effectively in a rapidly evolving automotive landscape. Number 8. 1946 Tucker 48 Tucker 48, or simply the Tucker, remains an iconic symbol of automotive innovation and ambition. Conceived by Preston Tucker, this vehicle aimed to revolutionize the industry with advanced safety features and distinctive design elements. Production issues, such as supply chain disruptions and financial constraints, hindered manufacturing rates and limited consumer access to the vehicle, 
legal challenges, including investigations by regulatory bodies, added to the company's woes, leading to negative publicity and diminishing consumer confidence. These combined factors restricted the Tucker 48's impact in the market, despite its groundbreaking features and visionary design. Number 9. 1948 Davis Divan The 1948 Davis Divan was a daring attempt to introduce futuristic automotive concepts, featuring a unique three-abreast seating layout and distinctive styling cues. Marketed as a symbol of post-war progress, the Divan generated significant anticipation among automotive enthusiasts and the general public. However, the Divan faced formidable challenges during development and production stages. Persistent production delays, attributed to the complexities of realizing its innovative design, delayed market entry, and limited consumer availability. Financial constraints further exacerbated these challenges, hampering the company's ability to scale production and meet market demand effectively. These cars represent a range of challenges faced by automakers in the early to mid-20th century, including design missteps, market competition, production issues, and financial constraints.